It's your boy. <laughs> What's the deal, people? It's your boy, the one and only your host that do the most, Mr. Viral himself, a.k.a. the villain, because they hate me for my opinion. Welcome back to another episode of the Viral Way <laughs> Podcast. Make sure you share, like, subscribe to the channel. As always, I got my co-host in the building. Messiah the Great. Y'all know we're going to keep leading the way. We got Cali the One, not yes, the sir. Two. And we got a superstar in the building, the very special... Callie's own. Who we got in the house right here? First of all, let me correct you. Texas own. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Texas own. Texas own. Texas and Anaya Love No. Yeah, that's Anaya Texas Love No. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say one or the other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anaya, Anaya, Anaya Love No. Excuse me. Pardon me. Texas own. He said Callie. He was like, I ain't from here. But shout out to Callie, too. Shout out to Callie, for sure. Where can they find you at? Get, let, let them know your handles before we start anything. We want to run your followers up. You can find me under Anaya Love No. A N A Y. A love note. Anaya Love Note. Run her up. All platforms. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we have some technical difficulties. You feel me? So we're trying to get the energy back up. We're gonna try to pick up where we left off. Bear with us. Take three. <laughs> One, take three. Okay, so recently we seen you at Rolling Loud, making noise, going viral. Give us a little background of what you was doing up there. Uh, I just did an influencer uh, collaboration with Steezy. Shout out to Steezy and Rolling Loud for having me. Um, we just did a, a fire interview and just got to enjoy Rolling Loud for the first time instead of performing on it. Shout out to Rolling Loud. Shout out to Steezy. Y'all go go check her content out over there. Okay. Now, how did you like performing at Rolling Loud in front of that large audience? I loved it. It was a great experience. Shout out to Chanel West Coast. Easy. Um, I'm featured on her record and she was performing and I got to come out. So it was really dope to see it from that point of view. Is that the biggest crowd that you have performed in front of? No. No? No. What was the largest crowd you performed in front of? Um, I, I opened up for Kevin Gates at the E-Market Arena and in Florida. And I was like, man, my first arena. The arena was packed, like tickets sold out. Like thousands of people type of? Yeah, like okay. big, big arena. I was like, yo, was Kevin Gates got so many fans. He's so slept on, but that was my my biggest audience so far. He get his flowers. How how was how was that feeling seeing all them people and you performing? Or um, I really, to be honest with you, I almost cried before I went on stage. I was so nervous. I I had never been nervous to that extent, and I was just like, keep it together, keep it together, <laughs> keep it together. And then, um, when I came out at the end, I was more so worried about the ending. Than the beginning, because they don't clap in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? They they clap at the end, so you'll know the crowd's reaction really when you're done. And to hear them all scream so loud for me, it was just like a God just saying you you doing what you're supposed to be doing. Hmm. Like you, this is for you. When if you have a second guess to yourself, this is what you're supposed to be doing. You on the right path. Yeah, because I was like, I, I couldn't believe all these people <laughs> at a stadium for me. And then the other guys that went on before me, they didn't get no type of love. But mama was like, I was like, oh, my God, I did it. <laughs> I could do this. I could do this. Did you prefer the large arena or the smaller, more intimate crowds no, as far I, as performing? I prefer the big ones. Those small, intimate ones really be nervous wrecking because you could just see their faces brushing up close. And if they not vibing, it can just throw off your vibe. Mm. Okay. I done, I done been in crowds and I see auntie just, mm, <laughs> she ready to go. And I just be thinking to myself, like, damn, am I doing bad? Am I not doing as good as I'm supposed to? But bigger crowds, you can't see nobody's face. Okay, so you rap and sing. Yes. Dual threat. Ooh, honey, let me stop you there. <laughs> Singer, dancer, actress. Oh, rapper. excuse excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I wear many hats. Multiple threats. You got many hats. Which do you prefer? You prefer the rapping or you prefer the singing? Um... I, actually, I don't have a choice of either one because both of them make me feel differently. Like, when I rap, I feel like I can express myself way more better. When I sing, I feel like I have to be more emotionally involved. And I just be like, bro, like, if you... Singers, if every note don't hit, it, the song won't go where it's supposed to. But if you rap it in that one bar, it just be that one bar that be so catchy, it makes the whole song go. Now, that, that's facts. So if we was to describe your sound, if... A fan who never heard your music say, hey, what's your sound? How would you describe that? I would give it like a mixture of like a Lil' Kim left eye with a Sierra. With a Sierra? Yeah, only for the singing part. 
<laughs> Sierra say? Yeah, yeah, she say. I didn't know that. Don't no, play. <laughs> they I kill you. I, no, I, I, <laughs> what do you know? She keep tweaking. I can't be a I heard that she was rapping. They finna bleed. Sierra yeah, ain't never rap. <laughs> no. She, She's never rapping. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm tweaking. I don't know why I'm thinking she a damn rapper. Ooh. She came out singing. Yeah. She's been singing her whole career. Okay, they're going to believe me for that one. Look, <laughs> oh, I thought she was Lord a rapper. Oh, mercy. So how you feel about the state of female rap right now? This get a lot of criticism due to the nature of the content that women are choosing to rap about. Even though they're low-key running the industry. Well, you know, females have their own season. That's what I'm going to say that I didn't say before. Rappers have their seasons. And right now, I feel like, excluded from, like, Cardi, Nicki, and all of them, we don't really got that one one artist that's just, like, doing it like they used to back in the day. They going up for that sexy red, girl. Yeah. yeah I, sexy I, red is going crazy. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I just gradually, I'm going to be honest, I gradually started liking sexy red um, more so for her... Um, her just being her, just being herself. You think that's really her, or is it like exactly. the image yeah, for her? Um, yeah. As an artist the standpoint, when you come out with a certain look or a certain image, that's kind of what labels try to run with, and then slowly starts changing your image up to clean cut, you know, more like that. I don't know how long the... I don't know how long that was going to go with her as far as, like... Are they going to change her style or is she going to stay the way she is? You just never know. To me, it's like if you ain't pushing ratchet music as far as women, you ain't going to crack. Right. That's how I feel. Like if you ain't rapping about sucking dick, selling pussy, scamming niggas, but, you can't get heard right now. But people still at the same time, they be complaining about it. Mm -hmm. They complain that they tired of hearing this type of music, this type of music, this type of music, this topic is the same. Every female rapper is rapping about their cookie or but boy free or they money, they bag or something like that. But truthfully, you have a lot of really hard, talented rappers who are also overlooked for something that's catchy instead of long term. Mm -hmm. They call it the TikTok effect. So with TikTok getting banned, supposedly, if it does truly get banned, I think artists are going to have to go back to the drawing board and create a new formula because now you can no longer make songs to try to get it to go viral on TikTok and get somebody to dance to it. You got to go back to really going viral the real way for having right. authentic music. That's actually my, my I'm going to be honest with you, because I'm going to, I never caught on to the TikTok wave, and people just kept pushing it, get on TikTok, get on TikTok. Tic I've always had a problem as an artist. I always had a problem that TikTok was starting to take over musically, only because it separated TikTokers and real artists. Real, legitimate artists, if you look at their TikTok numbers, is not up. You get what I'm saying? When you got TikTokers who's making a beat bop, beat oop, da deep bop bop, and then that <laughs> go viral. Right. But this one over here is really spitting bars. If TikTok does get taken away, I feel like that's going to work out for artists because now you have no choice but to really go listen to them. Mm. It's it, crazy. It, it, it's crazy, though, my fault. Are you good? It's crazy. I be seeing TikTokers that's unknown be rapping harder than a lot of these rappers out. Like, nigga, what is you doing? How cut not cracking yet? Like, they should be going viral on TikTok. People I never even heard of. So I think TikTok is a good is a good space. It gave a um, it gave a platform, but it also did bad at the same time because look at it like this: TikTokers that were getting signed to labels. You don't know how to do crowd participation. You don't mm. know how to do interviews. Image wise, it's no whatever. Artist development, yeah. Yeah, no but... artist development. No um, press shoots. All that. It's like you make a song on TikTok, it goes viral, and that artist gets signed to a label. Versus this artist who be really putting in the work. They artist development, media training, all in those things, writing their own shit. And it's just like, come on, like you got this one, but you being overlooked because this one has a million followers on TikTok. Bump that is an actual good artist right here. What's your TikTok numbers looking like? Yeah. yeah, but how many how many artists you think nowadays is getting artist development? A lot of these niggas is just getting on YouTube, dropping music, and then trying to blow up. They not getting it at all. Yeah, and that's what that's what I'm saying. So it's like, I don't think TikTok can fuck that up. I think TikTok is better for people, in I my don't, opinion. I don't think it's fucking up. I just think that at the end of the day, you got real life artists, and then you got TikTok artists. I think I agree with both of y'all, because what you're saying, there's people on there that have made careers, and they pop in, and they've gotten you know exposure from it. 
But then I agree with you're saying with what you're saying as well, because <clears throat> with the, you know, the emergence of TikTok, you have a lot of people who probably have would have never got famous as artists if they didn't have TikTok. Because most of the songs that go viral on TikTok is only, you know, 20 to 45 seconds of it that people really like. Mm -hmm. So if you do take TikTok out of it and now I got to listen to two minutes of trash to get to the 20 <laughs> to 45 seconds of the catchy part, I'm going to have been turning that shit off. Mm -hmm. So it could potentially level the playing field. But this, this is what they started doing, though. They started picking up on that formula, and now their actual song is just the two minutes. <laughs> That's fine. Whereas yeah. a song mm -hmm. used to be three verses, two, two, three hooks. Now it's just song should be about like five hook. minutes. Like yeah, like back four, in the day, they minutes. used to be like almost but, five minutes. But we say we say if you took TikTok away, it make it'll make it better. Now I don't think so because the labels are controlling the artists. The they're, labels control the artists before TikTok, after TikTok. This is, this is my point, but they're not expressing themselves the way they want. We even see people coming out and saying, "Well, if I put this out, they're gonna put you on the shelf." You can't just. Uh, I feel like TikTok people could be more free to be who they are versus like, nah, you need to be making this ratchet music. You need to be making this destructive music. In my opinion, I think that's what's going on. That's why the music is at where it's at. No, I feel like at the end of the day where the labels fucked up was trying to force numbers on artists. Back in the day, you had Michael Jackson. There was no streaming. You had Beyonce coming up. There was no streaming. All the artists that we grew up on listening, that people be sampling, there was no streaming at one point. So they had to do the work. Artists these days don't want to do the work. Do I, the work, and that, you gonna that's get still, that's, still, that's still to the same point. I mean, it's to a certain Jackson, extent. Mike Jackson was still being himself. Prince was still being himself. Pac was still being himself when he made to music. a certain extent because even back then labels were robbing artists of money. Well, yeah. not only they that, they were there, controlling but... Whitney Houston. Like Whitney Houston is prime example. When Whitney Houston first came out, they made her look like the American princess, even though that wasn't genuinely who she was. It can drive anybody crazy not being able to be themselves. It's always been that way. And then they take it, and once that shit no longer is making a buzz, you're shelved. That, that's just what that is. Unless you have something other than, for instance, if I met this TikToker, this TikToker only knows how to sing. But I met this artist. This artist knows how to rap, sing, dance, act. Everything that this person does is just like, you got to know about it. But this person just has one thing to offer. If I was a label, I'm going to go with this artist. I can do multiple things at once because that is multiple ways that I can market this artist. That is multiple ways that I can draw in revenue for this artist. This is multiple ways that I could put this artist on this country song because they sing. I could put it on a sexy red track because they rap. I can do a dance duo with them with Chris Brown because that motherfucker can dance. Versus person who could just sing, they, they can't dance, they can't rap, they can't act. It's, they can't write. True, it's, it's but what they so, have, go ahead. what they have, I think, and the, the, what people have on TikTok that um, now, because like what you're kind of saying about how Michael, Michael Jackson, and, and um, Beyonce, other people, they didn't have streaming, but they had the machine, which was like pushing them. So back then, I feel like we only knew who was put in front of us by the machine, which mm -hmm. is the labels. Now you have TikTok and all these other you know apps that are pretty much pushing artists for themselves for free. So I feel like that's where he's coming, the kind of where you're coming that's from. That's what I'm saying. Is that yeah. like, you don't really, the label has to go to the TikTokers now because they don't really have the infrastructure that they once did because they don't necessarily control who's get who gets put in front of us anymore because of brands like TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Well, the right. power's in your hands pretty yeah. much as an artist now with social media. You can, like he said, fuck artist development, fuck going to the machines and knocking on the door of the labels, begging for a deal. You just pull out your phone and go viral. Look at Chief Keith. That's how he got on. Yeah, but how is they that just helping? They pulled their phone out. How is that helping music, though? How How is the labels controlling what the con the, the, the type of music they want them to make helping, helping the music? This is why music mm -hmm. is where it's at, because of the labels. Yes. I think they need to start all the way over. Mm -hmm. They need to create new labels, get the niggas that's been running the shit up out of it. This is why we hear the same sound from people. And then when you get somebody that sound different, it's like a breath of fresh air. Like, finally, mm -hmm. somebody ain't trying to be a clone. So I think the labels is the reason. And when they know the labels is going after these types, this is why every person, like you said in the beginning, you was putting shit that you thought other people wanted to hear out. So it's not more so being able to be yourself fully. But then you mm -hmm. got artists that's really being themselves and doing what they need to do and not getting the same recognition unless they're getting on TikTok right. or any social media. I 100% agree with you. Um, music started going downhill when labels stopped really caring about music. I don't think the labels never really cared because the people that's running the labels, they're not from the culture. 
you got a bunch of people that 60, 70 year old white people that's not in tune with what's going on in the culture. They just mm-hmm. looking at numbers, mm-hmm. whatever's f- bringing back the most revenue. That's what they're pushing. You know what I'm saying? And that's always been the label. That's been you're going to be the independent artist that's making the best shit in the world, but nobody's listening and you ain't making no money. Or you're going to go over here to the label, dance in the circus and be rich and famous. That's always been the battle. So with today, I think you can eat independently more without a label. You like can. you are the label. You can. Right. I mean, at the end of the day, for me, I'm independent and I do, I do want to be signed to a label, but I'll, I'll be telling my managers this. I'll, even if I was signed to a label, they're not going to know what to do me because I don't know how to sit down. I don't know how to just not do nothing and wait for you to do it for me. I don't know how to do that. I'm coming to you exactly as I am, and I'm standing my ground on who I am as a person. Is At some point, I feel like I might cross that road where maybe it is, oh, we're going to change your image. We're going to change everything about you. We need you to do this type of music. I pray that that doesn't happen. But if it does, I'm going to have to argue my way out of that because, look... <laughs> Like right we now, we gotta be in the middle. If you don't do, a, if you don't have a gimmick attached to you, it's hard to even go viral or be heard. So, right. do you yourself use any gimmicks to be heard or to be seen to go viral? Don't lie, don't Sheesh. cap, keep it one hundred. This is the viral way. <laughs> um, I done seen some shit. You seen shit, but that don't mean <laughs> that it is what it is. Shit. Let's just talk about it since let's, you want to bring it come up. Come on, let's get to <laughs> it. Let's talk about it. Okay, nip, nip so slip gate. we gonna call it nip slip gate. Okay, look, I come home from the airport. I get on live because I was so pissed off that my puppy London has shit everywhere in my room and I got carpet. So when I come home, I'm already irritated. If you look at the video, you could tell that my mood seemed like I was irritated. So as I'm talking in the camera and I take one sleeve out, mama whole titties just bum on out. They made a they made a cameo. <laughs> now it's an arguing a debate of if I did I did not do that shit on purpose. Like I was horrified. I lit instantly covered myself, turned around and started screaming. Put my arm back in my sleeve and was like fuck it. But whoever recorded me, you should be ashamed of yourself. That's just start right there. I did not intend on going viral. And the crazy thing about that video is it's three almost four years old. Is that right? It's an old video. I Cause I seen got, it. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even got I'm my like, teeth done in the video. I'm like, she did this on purpose. I did sure. not do that on purpose. I mean, the video, purpose. the video did what it was supposed to do. It got your name out there. It was never there. supposed to be but that. But the reaction, I'm like, that's good marketing. You know no, what I'm saying? No, that was completely the fuck on accident. On my mama, that was on accident. On everything I loved, that was an accident. I genuinely was like, bro, what the fuck, Anaya? In my head, I'm like, what? The actual fuck. Only because there will be a lot of people that follow me that don't say nothing. Like, I don't, I never know who's watching my lives. So I be trying not to put up anything that this person might be following me and watching me and trying to see how I am as an artist. So I don't be trying to do stuff. Now, ain't this happened multiple times? We're gonna, we gonna talk about it. Yeah, let's get to it. It didn't happen multiple times. Okay? Now, look, that went viral. When that went viral, people were calling my phone. It was like, Anaya, you need to capitalize off this. I'm talking about so many people, huge people, you wouldn't even think. I was like, bro, you calling me to make this go something? So then it was like, yo, you should start our OnlyFans and make money off of this. Oh, shit, okay. And I was like, I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't want to do our OnlyFans. I don't want to be seen as that type of um, woman. They was like, it just depends on how you sell it with your music. Just promote music, 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 do da 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 this is the truth, okay? I know it's been a great debate on social media, so <laughs> now you hear from me. When I do mornings with Anaya, I've had... Whew. Just say it. This is on OnlyFans we're talking <laughs> no, about. No, no, it's on Instagram. Okay. Mornings with Anaya, I do my morning routines, but I did purposely... I did purposely have a few nip slips. That's what I just on said. On Instagram. <laughs> not that video. She was in all the nip slips. I just did it. That's what I said. I seen the video. It's not that video. It's not that video. No, I wasn't talking about that when no, I said no, no, I seen multiple stuff too. No, no, no. On, on everything I love, the shit that they got out, those was not on purpose. Hit on my mama, they were. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not kidding. I swear to God, I'm not kidding. And the reason why is because I didn't start doing it somewhat on purpose until I started going viral. 
anything before that viral moment, it was not on purpose. Now, let me tell you why. When I got my breast done, I lost feeling in my nipples. So, in, Ouch. so my second time getting my breast done, this is my third time, I just got my breast reduced. They were bigger than this. At that time, my breast was big. And you you could look it up. You could talk to a doctor. They're going to say the same shit that I'm about to tell you. You lose feeling in your nipples. So you don't be knowing if you have a nip slip or not. I don't feel nothing. So if my nipple is showing, I don't know. I can't feel it. I don't feel shit. You normally feel like a little breeze go past you so you know. I don't have no feeling that way. So a lot of that shit that was happening when my breast was big and I was just nip slips and I couldn't tell that my nipple was out. Now, when that shit started going viral, maybe like last year, that's when I was like, you know what? Maybe I should have been loose. <laughs> so you started pulling them out on purpose to gain after, traction and go viral. After I went viral. So it is a market employee. Safe right. To say. After though, after the viral moment, that's when I started taking other people's opinions about marketing it, just not in a, a very raunchy way. Now let me ask you this: What made you get your breasts done? Was this for to enhance your career, to enhance your image, or was this a self type of? It was something that I wanted to do. I always, I've always been very small, very petite. Like, wear a size double zero. I've always been a small person. So even before all of this, I was like, bro, when I get the money, I'm going to get my breasts done. Because I want to. Like, I got the money for it. Why not? It's not for anybody else. Was it worth losing the feeling in them? Um, no, I, I mean, it was no pro or con, because he going to suck on it regardless. The fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It defeats the perk where nigga even sucking. Nah, not really. I mean, because that, that's I, like, I, I, don't, don't I, don't have, I don't have feeling, but I'm not completely, completely a thousand percent numb. Like, you got to be in a right spot, a certain area where they did not, like, down here, they cut below. But on certain parts of my, my you know, my nipple, Nerve. it's just like, you got to be at the right spot now. Before that, I'm... Ticklish, don't do that. <laughs> Wait a minute, that hold on now. But now you can suck away, my love. Just make sure you get the right spot in the meantime. That's wild to me. I, I would never if they told me, hey, you're gonna lose feeling. They in didn't your tell dick. me that. <laughs> they you don't always lose feeling. It's not an always thing. It just depends on you and your body. Everybody don't cause it's a case by case. Yeah. Like some girls, they got theirs cut down the middle. So they really don't have no feeling because they got cut down the middle of their nipple. That's why. Mine is actually underneath my breast where they insert it. So, so do I you have an OnlyFans? I do have an OnlyFans. And does this consist of the same type of activities as far as pulling your titties out? No. Doing some wild shit? Nah. Um, or is it strictly you're on there cooking and playing spades? Or I do everything on there. I do karaoke. I be dancing while I'm cooking. I do a lot of shit on OF. I promote my music. Um, same things that I'll do on Instagram or Bego. I do on there. I do no different because I've had fans tell me, like, yo, I wish you would go back to doing this. Or can you make your lives like this? I'm, li I'm very... Um, I do very good communication with my fans. When they DM me, I pay attention to stuff that they tell me that they really liked or inspired them, and I keep going with it. So management actually... Yeah. Told you, hey, you should get OnlyFans. Yes. So they're really telling artists, hey, if you're a female, get OnlyFans, you're going to go up. I got the text message to prove it. Yeah, like, they, they promoting the ratchet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, no, because I was curious back, about this. Like, what's making all these female yeah. rappers get OnlyFans? And now no, we got to ask you. Man, man, you got to think about it, too, bro. Like, it, it's so many men out there that, you know, we talk about all the time that they don't get no type of action or whatever, and then they go and buy it. I feel like a lot of the girls that make the OnlyFans don't even really put nothing on there. They just, I don't. They just got niggas just, you feel me, just no, getting rid of them. Like, yeah. I don't, they I have a Niggas ain't just paying for but nothing. You, every, what I'm saying is that, like, my, my bad, not to cut you off, but, like, it it might not be, like, to the extreme. Like, they might be getting away with just whatever. Because I've, I've seen celebrities, um, the OnlyFans topic is crazy, but... I've seen like smaller OnlyFans creators pretty much complain that celebrities were getting OnlyFans because it was kind of taken away from them, and they was really on there going crazy. And you got <laughs> you got you know Cardi B just in a in a bra and underwear. That's not really oh, doing nothing for nobody. And type yeah, that's not. That's not. Her sweet. I mean, yeah, like, to be honest with you, I don't show my cookie. I don't do no sex videos. I'm not playing with no toys. Ain't no masturbation going on. The only thing you are gonna get from a night love note is my titties. Or I might be like in a thong or some booty shorts or the crop top. 
that's as far I make my money from just that. that. Ain't enough for me monthly. You feel sex, me? Be, hey, niggas, sex, niggas sex sales. Sex sales. I mean, it just depends on your. My personality is also involved in it. When I go uh, live, I don't just stand there and look all sexy for you to spend money. Mm -hmm. I have fun with them. I make them feel involved. Like I'll do my routine. I'll let them pick my outfit. Let me try on these clothes, and you feel when people feel involved. That's what make them stay. Not just sitting there and you just staring at the camera looking all in your lingerie and I'm supposed <laughs> to give you money. Like, no, interact with them. Make it fun. Only fans is deep. <laughs> but you know what though? Nah, nah, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's, it's not, I'm, I'm not saying for you. I'm saying for the men that's out there paying they for it. Like you said, that's like, these, that's, that's bro, you got to realize yeah. most of these niggas is losers. Most of these yeah. dudes out here is losers. You know what I'm saying? And there's and men on OnlyFans, bro. This is the only interaction they can I'm really not get. saying that. I'm just, yeah, like, like you, like you just said, it's the only interaction. So mm -hmm. to feel that good to where you just got to watch a girl clean up and cook. And then if you don't go get one in real life, that's why. Get one to clean and cook for you at home. Like, what's wrong with you niggas? Is the benefits of that? You, this is benefit. Okay, you? so let me ask you this. By perpetuating the very same thing that we're saying is wrong with the game, aren't you kind of playing the same hand? Like you said, we want women to, or you said you want to change the narrative of I want to bring it back to the S's, but at the same time, you like, hey, I did whatever I had to do to get further to where I got to get. And every artist is thinking the same thing you're thinking. I mean, this is what's viral. This was trending. So I'm going to do this to get further. And by the time they get there, it's so good. It's like, I'm not stopping this. It's a money train. Right. Fuck the essence. I'm eating. Well, OnlyFans, everything. And you got your manager telling you to do the OnlyFans thing. And you talking about you ready to go back and forth with the labels. That's going to be even more difficult. Well, no. See, let me, let, me, let me explain it to you. That, as far as changing the narrative of the type of music that I make, that's one thing. OnlyFans is not as bad as it used to be during COVID. There's a lot of businesses that have an OF for their businesses. There are girls in there just showing their feet, making millions of dollars just showing feet. It's, it's like it's not as bad as it was during COVID. Um, on top of that, to be real with you, a lot of artists are not making money off their music. And that's just what that is. So when it comes time to take care of your family, I don't have kids, but for those who do have kids, when I got an OnlyFans and I saw what was on there, and I was like, oh, this is not as bad as I thought it was. For me, it just depends on the type of man that you are and what type of man that you have. And the type of content that you're... Because there's couples on there making money. Like what you mean, money. type of man that you are? You mean like as like, far as you having a man and OnlyFans? No. Yeah, so I have dated guys and I told them up front like yo I have I just started an OF if you look at my OF I have less than 200 people that follow me on there and I like it small I, it's on the link in my bio if you go to my link and see it you go see it but I'm not promoting it on Instagram's page and, and on TikTok and on here I don't promote it you get what I'm saying? So I use that money for my music. When I got to pay my team or my makeup artist, my videographer, I got to get shit done. That's an extra bag right there that's going to help me musically and not taking money out of my bill money. So most artists, they use that to either put that towards just their bills. And then you got another bank account that goes towards your career. But do you know how hard it is to have one bank account and you got to choose whether, okay, I got to pay my rent this month. But damn, I really need to get in the studio because I ain't put out music in a long time. At the end of the day, if you don't know how that feels to not have people back you up, to not have a label back you up, to not have no rich nigga put money in your pocket and pay your bills for you, you won't have to make a, a decision. I had to get to a point where, you know what, Anaya? I don't care what nobody say. I got to take care of this. My mom needs help. My little brother locked up. He need money on his books. I got shit I got to take care of. So that is my reasoning. Everybody got their own reason. I'm not just on there just to be on there. I got a reason. Well, everybody but, got a reason. Yeah, yeah, but nah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 but no, no, like no. Because I've met just, girls who just get on there just to get on there. You ain't got no. You don't got kids. You don't got no dream. You don't got no goals. You're not paying for they shit. Want, they want the, the money. It's the money just is there. The reason. It's just yeah. there to go buy shoes. But with me, it's like, bro, if I could take this little bit of money. Put money on my brother's books. But is this they thinking? They thinking the same thing. Everybody. Nah, different. but go back to what she was saying earlier. Like you said, Mike Jack and them didn't have streaming. Mike, uh, Lil Kim and them didn't have OnlyFans. They still got they to didn't. where they got and, to. And at the end of the day, we don't know what. Pause. Let me tell you something. Back in the day, motherfuckers was selling drugs. 
let's be real. Even female artists back there, back then, was also selling drugs mm -hmm. to pay for stuff. Everything wasn't just through the label. If you weren't up there, up there, my was, mother was still on TV, living color, all of that, and still wrote. Just because they didn't have what we have now, don't mm -hmm. mean nothing. The, it, it, I, everybody had so, to do what so they had to do this. to get the what point, they had to go. The point was what, what he was saying earlier, like you was talking about wanting to change the narrative. Mm -hmm. I'm not changing. I don't have nothing to do with changing the narrative for OnlyFans. The only thing that I said I was changing the narrative. Yeah, I'm, talking, I'm, talking, I'm more so talking about as an artist where you mm -hmm. were saying like we where music need to get back. To. That's my music. That don't got nothing to do with what I'm doing as far as OF and my the type well, of music that I'm making. I would say you, you too, think we're gonna yeah. view you differently because if you're doing OnlyFans and you do music, we're still gonna view you. In in a in a whole in a whole space of we're not gonna separate the music from your. I mean, your but life. no. But what was asked to me is the the narrative of my music, the type mm -hmm. of music that I make. You don't think that definitely in today's time, right? That like that what you do outside of music directly correlates and affects what goes on in your music career. You don't think that that has any correlation, especially in today's time. I mean, it do and it can, but it also depends on you. Like how your marketing is. Mm -hmm. I again, there are women who have OnlyFans that just show their feet, and they take that money and do whatever they want with it. If I'm not on there and busting it wide open and and doing God knows what, then it's not going to affect me that deeply because I'm not exposing all this. I'm not on there masturbating and fucking on camera. But my breast was already going viral. The only thing I did was capitalize off of it. No, we're not mad at yeah, the capitalization. No, I know that yeah. part. The but only message I'm trying to convey is, on one hand, you can't be Lauren Hill, and then on the other hand, I'm on OF. Why can't going, I? Going viral, throwing my... Like, it's not going to be respected. We're going to look mean, at you like a fraud. Like, again, Okay, it's, you're I preaching think... this, but then you're living something else. It's like the the your actual... I personality don't, I don't feel, it has to match up now I don't feel like people should judge people on their bag like at the end of the day I've only had OF for a short period of time and I was like bro I don't want to do it bump all of that okay because when it comes down to your light being off and you not having nowhere to sleep or or, or whatever just like men y'all get out there and y'all hustle y'all go sell this sell that sell this whatever get on the block mm -hmm. whatever this girl, she go strip. What is the difference? Well, there is there is women. It's a women. huge difference. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Why is it? Oh, why is it a difference? Let me, a let difference. me ask you this. Why is it a difference from this stripper being butt ass naked every night in front of men, thousands of men, hundreds of men, versus this woman who's only in her panties and and booty shorts in the comforts of her own home and probably only got a hundred people or. 70 people looking at her. She's not buck naked. She's not busting it wide open. Cookie not out. She's on there for maybe an hour versus this woman who's fully, completely butt ass naked, sucking and doing whatever else. What is the difference? I'm going to be honest so, with you. We're going to uh, look at both of them the same. Yeah. I'm going to look at the stripper the same as I'm looking at the female that's at home in her bra and panties, dancing around, doing funny things. I mean, hey, funny. I, I had some men tell me fans different, but put whatever. in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you if if I'm dealing with a woman and she's she wants to do OnlyFans, you gonna have to I, you gonna have to break me off too. That's just how it's gonna be. <laughs> you because you I need, I, I'm your yeah, manager now. Yeah, yeah, I need exactly. a percentage. If I'm cool with that, then because you want to show the whole world whatever, like you said, panties and ass and all that, no different. That's like that's like the strippers that say, well, I only strip, but I don't do the fucking and sucking. They might say that, but we're still going to look at you like you I do. I mean, I only sucking. asked what was the difference because I've had men tell me that there was a difference. So I was genuinely mm -hmm. asking, so what is the difference? I'm saying from my optics, I'm going to look at, I put y'all all, I put them all in the same category. I ain't going to say y'all. I put them in the same category. If you do OnlyFans and you strip, same category to me. I mean, hey, I teach but his own. It, it, it's, if you're comfortable with that reality, it, it's, it should be no sweat off your back. Um, we're just more yeah. so saying... As far as like, okay, if I'm going to be rapping and preaching certain messages for people to follow and listen to you preach those messages, you got to like walk the walk. My so, love, if I'm you know making I'm a, if I make a record talking about love and that love song and that love record go crazy, you going to tell me, oh, I'm not about to sign her. Cause she had a OnlyFans. No, that's no, not what no, he's no, saying. No, no, that's no, no. Not, yeah, I'm yeah. speaking it's, from a consumer the, aspect. The lane, the, I mean, the, again, lane, the lane you going in 
it might work in your favor. No, but, sure. but I just seen something where the lady, um, she had an OnlyFans, but she was a teacher. She lost yeah, her job her for being job. a teacher for having an OnlyFans. So in today's world, it affect that. But the lane you going in with music and being a uh, trying to be a mogul is 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 might work for you, but it's still gonna view you differently when you do go in those rooms or you do go meet those executives. I mean, if they do, that's what it is. But the difference between me and her is. I'm not in front of other people's kids. And then teaching them every day. You got this five-year-old I'm in front of. And then when I go home, I'm half naked. Mm. You get what I'm saying? I'm the, as an artist to, or an influencer versus a teacher, I mean, I don't think I would want my teacher being butt-ass naked where my kid can go find their teacher on OF. And then you come to school and you got to be in front of me. But... Again, I don't know what her business look like. I don't know what she's mm-hmm. struggling at to um at home. So that's okay. why, why, that's why, why judge her? Because it's no different from not. Judging I'm not you. saying I'm judging her. I'm just saying if I had kids, if I had a daughter, or if I had a son, especially a son, you there's been plenty of times little boys fall in love with their teachers. Isn't that hypocritical though? Because what she's doing outside the classroom would be like you saying, "Well, I'm doing this outside of music." Like she's not in, on OnlyFans in front of your kids. That's what she's doing at home. To pay her bills. I'm so the just whole saying, spiel about- I wouldn't want my son to look up and see my teacher is naked. No, but this is what I'm saying. Your son shouldn't be on OnlyFans number one. He so shouldn't he wouldn't have. know that she's naked. But what I'm saying is the same way he was saying you don't want to be judged because, like, hey, I got to pay bills and studio time. She could be having a hardship in life where, hey, I got to pay this and this, and teaching ain't paying enough. So I'm on OnlyFans in my off time. So mm. why... You know what I'm saying? I want that's, to, that's right. a contradiction. You're right. You're right. Because right. you're judging her for the I, same thing I you're mean, doing. I, I feel exactly what you're saying, and I agree with you. So maybe I am judging her. So let me rephrase what I'm saying to you. It's, at the end of the day, it's all about how you do it. That's that's just what it is. If she a teacher and she not showing shit and it's still just presentable, then whatever. If you a teacher and you sucking dick on camera, I mean, I don't know. That's just a what you do in your personal life, I guess, like you said. It's, it's really no difference. But at the end of the day, I think it's just how you do it. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. It's not what you do. It's how you do it. And, and a couple of minutes ago, too, we were talking about, like, kind of comparing. Um, <laughs> we, we were comparing <laughs> no, drug I'm dealing. Just, you know? We was comparing drug dealing to, um, to only, I guess, the OnlyFans thing and how, um, what's the difference, right? That's kind of what you were saying. I don't think that there's, there's a difference, obviously, like, physically what they're doing. But at the end of the day, both people are doing something that more than likely is frowned upon. So I right. think that's what we're trying to get at is like, you're more so making it like, well, I'm I'm doing like the diet version, but it's like take selling drugs, for instance. If I go outside and you feel me, I sell some drugs, it's no, oh, I was just selling it lightweight if I get caught by the police. Um, if I, Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm still doing something wrong. People are still looking at me as a drug dealer regardless of if... I go home and take care of five kids, and I'm the, the biggest family man. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. No, 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 no,
when you see a higher profit margin and and, and, and that temptation kicks in, you're gonna give in. Because like, me, oh, I'm only showing my feet. Oh that, shit, I can show some titties and get some more. I, 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 I just I got, never I gonna got, stop. That's I got a little different. If I come and become a millionaire <laughs> off of just showing my five toes. My man better not say nothing. But look, this is the difference. Men are judged and respected by the woman they choose. So if I'm, let's say you get a million and I become a millionaire off of you making millions. When I walk in the room with other millionaires who are self-made and they wives ain't on OnlyFans, you the laughing stock that's of the room. Their, that's y'all problem. At the end of the day, I've exactly. met, I've met plenty problem. of men who don't care that they shorty got an OF. They don't care as long as you're not on here doing God knows what and going crazy with it. Some men genuinely don't care. At the end of the day, again, that depends on who you are as a person and you not being secured in yourself. I don't feel like nobody should judge nobody based off how they get their bag and take care of themselves and keep a roof over their head. How? I'm not judging nobody because I'm not you. I don't know if you about to be on the streets. But you I'm just not doing that. And I corrected myself and I agreed with you and I said maybe I am judging her. I did say that. I and I said I, I agree. You're right. Let me rephrase what I'm saying. But at the end of the day... I personally just, you got one bank account here. You got another bank account here. You got another bank account. This person is getting money in so many different ways. This is just one income, not to mention how you get in other ways. I just don't really feel like people should judge somebody based off how they got to take we care not of necessarily, We're not necessarily judging it. Like I say, I could deal with a girl with the OnlyFans, but she's going to be putting it in my hand, but she's never going to have a spot as you would like a wife would. You're going to be... Playing your position as you are, and however you could be in a better position in my life. But other than that, I'm never gonna view you as I would as a wife. You would never be a wife. Shit, I'm still gonna be somebody's wife. And ten years later, my OF is not gonna goddamn matter. So I'm not worried about it. See, this, this, the length. Like when we talk about these topics, I listen to the language women like to use. They say some men, and I go, yeah, you're right, some men. But what quality of man? Because I don't know any men who are up here as far as value in life that doesn't not care about that again now if a guy's here and he's like oh you getting a bag because he's not getting a bag and he's profiting off it yeah he might not give a fuck but if this dude is already there what do i care about you making a couple hundred thousand on OnlyFans? again teaches on i uh, some men don't care some men do it's just based on you and you as the person and what you value and what you want in your woman at the end of the day, I communicate. As soon as I start talking to a dude or I date, I haven't been on OF for a good minute, but it's there. So it just sits there. I don't, you might see a post of my words and me updating my day, but you're not going to see me on there. It's just there. So at the end of the day, I'm very upfront and honest. Babe, let me tell you something. I do have an OF. How do you feel about it? The question I get asked after that is, well, what you doing on there? And then I'd be like, well, this is what I'm doing on there. All right, that's not that bad. I ain't tripping. I got a question. Um, you know, we're kind of talking about how we want to bring the the older, I guess, ways of rap back and also how the industry has kind of lost, I guess, its control of artists due to TikTok and things like that. Mm -hmm. When we're speaking on female rappers and how they're being brought into the industry, do you think that if female rappers now that we do have the control that we have what if they just stop participating in things like only fans and other types of activities rapping a certain way talking about certain um you know subject matter would that then change what the label wants because they obviously they have to change what they want now because the 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 talent is changing what they you know what i mean practice I mean, I think maybe the label would change what they want based off what the audience is, you know, requiring or mm -hmm. asking for, high demand, whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, you still got some a good group of people who like that ratchet stuff. No, you know it's fine. It's fine. And <laughs> so it's, that's still a market within itself because when you go to the club, it's you're not on, listening yeah. to love music. <laughs> I'm not trying to. You know, yeah, you yeah. get what I'm saying? You're yeah, not trying to. you trying to enjoy your vibe and hear a good 808. But when you go somewhere that's just vibe, you want to chill, you got a different type of, you know, music that you're going to play. So I, I think that's always going to be there. Mm -hmm. It don't really matter what label it is or what you got to market and a whole nother... Um, Everything just has its own market. Country, rap, whatever. They all just have their own market. 
So I don't really feel like that's going to change no time soon, to be honest with you. I think people are just going to find new ways to express it, mm. but I don't think it's going to change. Yeah, like the ratchet don't bother me, the ratchet shit. I, I just think we need more diversity Yeah. because, like you said, people are following whatever's trending, so people are even afraid to even try to push the needle. It's, it's women rappers, there is no Queen Latifah's. There is no... There is no Lauren Hills on the mainstream. No, it's MC, every, no everybody MC light. following no, none of that. one formula, and no that's it. That. And, and it's it's causing a lack of diversity. I right. like the ratchet shit when I'm in the club. I don't want to hear about uplift this that in the club. Like, who wants to hear that? <laughs> but when I'm riding in the car, I don't want to hear about you sucking dick. I want to hear. Right. Okay, let me. Oh damn, she talking about some shit, or damn, she telling a good story, or damn, I didn't know that about her childhood. It's like the diversity. I feel like needs to be more included in the game from the women, and not just. Sucking dick, OnlyFans, three or four shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. We said we, as female artists and females, we get tired of hearing the same thing from men. We get tired of hearing about cookie this and and hoes and bitches and cars and money. We get tired of hearing that stuff too. We wouldn't mind a good keep your head up, you know, like Tupac, or or a a good R&B track when they mixed rappers back then with like B2K or whatever the case may be. We wouldn't mind that. You don't think we get tired of hearing about bitches, cars, and hoes? We do. But you got more rappers, male rappers, that you can find that type of work versus female rappers. Female I, rappers is all in the same one small box. And I'm going to tell you except, why that's like except, that. Except for maybe Nikki. I feel like Nikki is a real MC when it comes to women. That's why she gonna end up being a goat. But Nikki is not even in our generation. She's not even part of this generation. I'm just saying in general, she's she's. We still bringing up Lil Kim. Nikki's gonna be talked about for a hundred years down the line. And what you think Lil Kim gonna do? Who you? How you think Nikki? I'm talking. Where about, she got I'm it not from? talking about Lil Kim. I'm talking about these artists now. They the, don't okay. have. They don't have from the, this generation. Like he said, the diversity. They don't have that. They can't spit bars like Nikki can. They can't. Go outside of this ratchet shit. If this ever dies off, they die off. That's it. But there's a thousand yeah. artists who can spit like Nicki, but they're just overlooked or they're unheard of or I they're underground. I, there, is, I ain't heard one. there are plenty of female artists, rapper wise, who are hard, but you, they have no following. They have no TikTok following. And when you ain't got no TikTok following, they not listening. No, that's a fact. You ain't got no following on Instagram, they not listening. So it just brings us back to numbers. The only way this label or this manager or this whatever, when you or your numbers is up, oh, yeah, let's work. They not even worried about being paid because your numbers. Versus this person who can rap bars, even probably better than Nicki or MJ, whatever. But because their numbers are not up, you not listening. So nobody rapping uh, like Nicki and ain't gonna have no numbers. That shit don't exist. I think there's too, plenty I think... of artists that can rap hard as fuck and don't have no numbers. Hold on, let me ask you this though. Let me ask you this. Given everything you just said, is it safe to say artists should just stop giving a fuck about the craft and just focus on getting their numbers up? Because realistically, no. that's, that's the reason. Yeah. That's what's going on. But that's, that's why the music the is going up. exactly. But, that's why. Hold on, on the flip side. You say that, but then you're perpetuating the same thing in order to get in the game. Nobody is saying like he like uh, doing like he said, and fuck that. We finna change the landscape. We ain't doing this no more. We finna do this until the numbers get up. We're gonna force this to get the numbers up over here. We're not gonna perpetuate the bullshit that we say is fucking the game up, but we're doing it. I mean, at the end of the day, when I started rapping for going from singing to rapping, I had to do my due diligence because rapping was not in my career path at one point. I've never saw myself rapping. So if I'm trans changing lanes, I need to go and do my homework because my bars got to be hard. I don't know shit about being a female rapper. I know that when I'm at home and I'm writing this down, that's just for me. But ultimately, I just want to sing. So I, I didn't want to come out and be like, just rapping about whatever, whatever. I, I went through a little formula. I did my homework. I did my research. I looked at this artist, this artist, how they dress, how they talk with bars, how they keeping themselves marketing-wise up. Because marketing, rapping-wise and marketing, singing-wise, is two different ways to market this. It's just two different. That was my plan. But then when I did what I did, I only put out maybe, what, three songs, three or four songs that was like that? And after that, I instantly changed it. I combined singing and music and rapping together. So I just went about it a different way. 
I more so looked at it like just doing my homework and coming out the right way. I didn't want to drop a rapping song and I sucked. It was like, bro, you never need to do this again. I didn't want to do that. See, I don't think. Go ahead. Nah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> nah, see, this, this, is, this is what I feel like, man, because I think I've, a, lot of, a lot of the music is watered down. And I think more so the music is watered down because people want to make what everybody else want to listen to. I think artists should make the music that they like more so for themselves. So even when you put this out, like, fuck it, I'll fuck with it. If it go crazy, it go crazy. It's no, the authentic rap in the game is, 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 is short to none. So it's just like, it's not too much going on with that. This is where it comes down to, though. All right, most people are in it for the dollar bill. So once you're going for the money, Can you pass the, the money overcomes the love of the art. Because an artist who loves the art will make the art with no money involved. But now everybody's trying to go viral. Everybody's trying to be seen. Everybody's trying to be influencers. So it's like, fuck the art. I'm getting seen. My number's up. My follower's up. And I'm getting the bag. Fuck the art. That's where it's headed. And that's what that's no, go ahead. No, and with TikTok, like we said, and just the emergence of social media and influencers, it's like you don't really need like that that to me also is like I don't understand why female rappers as well as any rapper don't push like how you kind of saying what they want to do exactly because you have we're in a time now where you can have your own fan base. Like I said earlier, like we only knew what was put in front of us. Now I could have 500,000 followers or a million followers and a whole section of the world might not know me because they're not tuned into that that part of TikTok or that part of Instagram. So I think artists need to start realizing the power that they do have. You know, if they were to just make the changes or just try to create different things, especially with TikTok and, and other things, like you can build your fan base off of there and then leverage that from what your style already is then to the labels instead I mean, of going to the labels and then being like, well, what do you do with me? You say that and then that brings me to my point of there are plenty of artists that are overlooked because they don't have those numbers. I, so some people decided to take a little bite off of this and be like, okay, well, this is trending because realistically what Nikki did was, and I don't know if anybody really paid attention to it, but she did a collaboration with every new artist that came out. So that kept her relevant. That kept her a part of what was trending, from Koi Leray to Bia, every new female artist. Yeah. Spice, every mm -hmm. artist that came out, she did a record with them, and it kept. She was grabbing that fan base, that fan base, that fan base, that fan base, and it kept her going. So you do at some point and somewhat have to be a part of what's out right now, without all the way transferring yourself to what they got already. You know what I'm saying? Just just a little bit of this, a little bit of me, and a little bit of trending. No, and I agree with that 100. percent But I think the problem with most people is that they they end up losing themselves. Kind of like what we yes. were saying. Like they want to go viral because they have another message they want to get off, but then they go viral and they're like, "Well, fuck it, I'm gonna just stay with this and build off of this, and it's gonna be my new persona because this is what's working." Instead of being like, "Let me keep dropping the gems and giving them, you know what I mean, the deeper subject matter, and eventually it'll catch on." Most people just Throw it in the trash. I will say this. I wish I had never um, st started an OnlyFans. Mm. I do wish that I had never did that. Why I you wish say that? Because I started seeing the difference in how I was being treated or how I was being looked at or even approached in certain ways. At the same time, I just kept thinking, yo, my brother need me. My mama need me. Like, for right now, just at this very moment where I'm at in my life, Anaya, you can't worry about what everybody else got to say. We got to figure it out. I was going to interviews after interview after interview to be a, a bottle girl here, be a bottle girl here, a job here. I'm going to interviews consistently. And I was not getting hired nowhere, and I didn't understand why. And the only thing I could do was like, bro, fuck it. But when I did it... I had this one producer, he's really, really big. He said, you don't need it. He said, that is above you. He told me not to make it. And I listened to my managers, and I had made one anyways. And although I had got the money that I needed to take care of what I needed to take care of, it was like it was too late for me. I had already built my name before I had an OF. My name was already up there. People already knew who I was. 
When I got an OF, I felt like I disappointed some people that looked up to me. I felt like I disappointed some of my fans. I felt like I was turning into somebody that was not me as a woman. So it did what it was supposed to do at the time that I needed it to be done. But I do wish I had found another route. Let me ask you this. If you had a husband who could hold down the fort during these hard, tough times, do you feel you would have had to turn to the OnlyFans No, role? not at all. Because if you're my husband and we're married, we in this together. So I know that you got me, I got you. I, if my man is taking care of it, there's no need for me to do that. But unfortunately, I didn't have no man, don't have no kids. The only thing I know is my family needs me. And so I kind of pushed out what people would think of me. You could ask my, my, my girl right there. I literally called her so many times, breaking down, crying, just because I'm seeing me go viral. And I'm looking at my titties on this. And, and although everybody else around me is saying, it's not that bad, Anaya, it's not bad, it's not that bad. My fan base somewhat dropped. I lost followers. I had people DM me. Like, yo, I'm disappointed in you and I, and these are fans. At that point, I just stopped posting on there. I just stopped. It's there if it's there, but... See, I'm glad you're going into this because this is a side of the OnlyFans that they don't talk about. They only talk about the glamour. Oh, I'm getting this money, I'm getting that money, but they don't talk about what you're saying, how they're at home feeling empty inside or feeling less than a woman inside. Like, damn, I, I let my fans down i let my family down i don't i'm letting me down i don't even feel morally right doing this this is why one of the messages we preach on this show week after week after week is family because when you have a, a partner who can hold you down through these hard times you don't you won't do drastic things mm -hmm. in, in a state of emergency you'll have somebody level-headed who can hold you down to where you wouldn't be going through that right now right. you know what i'm saying so we always preach this message because the OnlyFans girls, for some reason, I don't know if it's a misery loves company thing. They just make it seem like it's all good. We're getting flown out. We're doing this. We yeah, rich. We're getting the bag. But they don't talk about them lonely nights. And I'm going to be real with you. I've talked to a few girls who have OnlyFans and their love life. Like you said, men don't want that. Again, there are some men that don't care because I've experienced that. But ultimately, at the end of the day, that's why I said I'm not going to judge nobody. I can't teach this on because I don't know where you are in your life. And if that helped you in that very moment, then that's just what that is. That's what you did to take care of yourself or your family. I can't, I can't take that. And after experiencing OF myself, I looked at it a lot of different ways. I did. I looked at it like, damn, I don't know what Shorty might be going through, but her life might be cutting off. She might need this quick hundred dollars. Or I don't know what this this dude is going through. He might be depressed, lonely, feel like he's ugly. He can't get no woman, so he's on here. At the end of the day, whatever you use it for is what you use it for. But in my experience, it came with a little good and it came with a little bad. So ladies, it's not all it's cracked up to be. This is a moment. This is a small moment in time, but it will follow you for the rest of your life. So... Try to be a little wiser with your decisions. I know it might feel like a last resort in a time of desperation, but really think about the outcome that you want in life because I know we all feel we shouldn't be judged for things, but you will be judged. That's a fact. But let's switch gears a little bit because we were talking about the artist development. In today's time, a lot of the interviews with artists, their fans really don't want to hear too much about the music. They low-key want to hear how you feel about certain things, like worldly things, different type of things, not just your music. So do you follow what's going on in the rap game right now? Um, No, I don't. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, so and you didn't hear that new Kendrick uh, no. verse? No? Mm -mm. Oh, damn. I'm I'm so honest with you. I'm so stuck in the 90s. My playlist, you as anybody, <laughs> it is hard for me to hear new, new music because I'm just stuck in my ways as far as music goes. So that way I don't lose the feeling that I have for music. Okay, because Kendrick just dropped the he just I dropped love the me hard some I just haven't heard. I haven't heard it Jay yet. This is J Cole and Drake. I wanted to get into that. But I you mean, said I, you I know the, I know the beef. I just don't know. I, think, I, I think. haven't heard the actual <laughs> thing. Y'all heard? I, I, I mm -hmm. think J Cole was collateral damage. Just just the fact of being associated <laughs> with Drake. Crack caught in the crossfire. Yeah, huh? like yeah. fuck it, nigga. Yeah. But yeah, nah, I'm gonna get. I think. It's cool. Fucking uh, J Cole. 
J. Cole, I feel like J. Cole can hold his own. Drake, I, I think Kendrick gonna Kendrick gonna murder him. But I'm standing behind um K Dot, man. Putting on for the I West Coast. Keep nothing. doing what he do. <laughs> I'm, sta- I'm standing behind K Dot. I fuck with J. Cole and I fuck with Drake. But if I gotta pick a side, I'm sticking to the side, man. West Coast rap. And K Dot ain't it ain't just even that. K Dot is a real lyricist. Like Cub is bringing what the game needs. And I feel like that's what he's doing. He's trying to sh- he trying to get it cracking. I'm Hold beyond. On. I'm not picking sides because I want a feature from both of them one day. So I'm, <laughs> I'm saying out of the way. Hey, look, she she uh she got to go. She got some other business she got to attend to. We gonna finish the conversation with the with the Drake thing. But thank you for coming. Wait, 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 wait! Don't be in it like that because I feel like you got some more stuff for me. Don't I got just... no, no. We got no. You just said you had to go in a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let me know then. I just you know I'm just. Just making sure I use my own. You trying to make a big old announcement that I uh, for sure was for the make announcement for you. Walk off camera. Yeah, 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 I, I do, I do, because I got the the. But um, I wanted to finish one more topic with you before I had to go. Okay, for sure. Look, we'll come back to that topic when she when she dip. You had something for her? me? No, you had you had a, you said you had a topic, no? Me? Oh. Yeah, you just uh. said that. Um, I mean, I'm just bringing it out of nowhere, but I didn't know it ha- from the things that you um you sp- you mentioned eating while broke interview and a few other things. So I was just like, oh no no no, I, I want them to go actually watch that interview. Which I don't want one? To, which I don't want you to part? break it down on here because then they ain't gonna go watch which, it. So which I want part? them to actually go watch it. Which part? The whole interview. Well, okay. So look, there's a lot. The, in I don't want to take away from their platform. That's the only reason. No 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 no. I mean, I get asked the same questions, so I was just like... That's why I like to mix it up, because I know y'all do so many interviews, everybody asking the same shit. Hey, when your album drop, what project you working on? I like to know different things, like, you know what I'm saying? The OnlyFans thing was, that was real deep for me, mm -hmm. because you're the first person I ever heard on this show keep it real on that side of it. Everybody else, it's like they just deny it, they lie about it, it's all pros, so the fact that you were able to open up and keep it real for women... I think that's big. I, just, I think you'll gain a lot of supporters off of that. I just want my message to be for the women. We are women. And regardless, the sex appeal is always going to be there, whether you put it in front of people or behind it. Realistically, men like a little sex appeal. When they peeping out a woman, when they checking out a woman, they picking out their woman, it's something about that woman sexually wise that you have in your mind regardless. So... How you do your sex appeal, how you put out your sex appeal, just be mindful of it is what I'm saying. Because you could be sexy and classy at the same time. You don't have to have an OnlyFans, and I'm not judging nobody who do because I do. Just think about it, like he said. Okay, here, here's a topic. You do it. I, I had this. <laughs> it just popped into my head. I had this conversation with, with a friend of mine. We got into a little debate. So he dated this chick. Not even dated this chick. He got this chick pregnant, right? Bam, they had a kid, they break up. As they're broken up, he's out and about. He sees her new guy with another female. And he calls her, basically his baby mama now, like, hey, you know your new dude over here with a female. Mind you, she like, nah, he out of town. He like, nah, he she right here. Danner took a picture of dude. So my question to y'all, if you seen an ex out, an ex's new partner out cheating, would you feel the mind need my to business. tell I don't know nothing. Yeah, I'm mind my own. You live long. I'm mind anyway, my that's business. That's goofy. If I ain't fucking with the bitch, I ain't. I ain't you are no longer in my world. I don't. It's once we done, we done. Whatever you go through outside of this shit, that's on you. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm minding my business. I mind my business. I I I think bro probably did it because it's his baby mama, but I wouldn't do it because he was like um. Even though we're not together, I still want the I best for her. I think he still got feelings yeah. for her. Man, and that still type of shit. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, he was more so, let he, me he just happy. ruin he what you have. <laughs> right. Like, he was happy. Oh, yeah, I got some for you. He was trying to break that up. That's crazy. Because I'm just thinking in my brain, we're not together anymore. I'd damn near probably be laughing if I seen your new dude out with a new chick. Right. Like, that's what you get. And I know what's going on. He wanted to end that. He wanted to break up, break that whatever that was up so he could step back in. He want that old thing back. That's 
all that was. Even if, any other man would ignore it, went about it, and be like, mm-hmm. even if he don't <laughs> want it back, he just don't, he just laughing to see her not with somebody else. Like not fucking, with yeah, him. You blew it with you me. You left shit. me exactly. Oh, like misery love company type yeah, of thing. Like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. what you getting? You done left all this. I told time him I think it was corny. Like, bro, that you down there telling like you might as well call the police on the nigga type shit. Like, what? Definitely corny. That's crazy, bro. That's for sure. That's ass shit. What happened to the guy code? That's Sim shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. If my ex texts me that and I as a female that would respond, I would have been like, bro, what the fuck you sending nah, this I think females would have been happy as fuck. I would not yeah, have. I would have like, thank God you at, told me. The best I, thing I you could do him weird. is keep it player and act like you already knew. Like, yeah, that's just how we get down. Don't yeah. let him know, you know, you don't, don't let know. him see you sweat type yeah. of thing. I'm, I'm, it I'm don't matter. Even if you don't show it, they niggas know. Yeah. Yeah, you, <laughs> you blew it. They know you didn't expect that. I know you didn't expect this nigga to be here. That's crazy. Once you an ex, you don't even exist. Nah. At I only home. feel like I wouldn't I wouldn't have liked it coming from him because you my ex. So I would have felt like, damn, you really want to see me. You do trying that to bad. sabotage some nah, shit. Nah, but in his mind, he probably like, oh, I mean, you tell me. He want her me. to see the best interest of his of his of his interests. He want her to see what's the best in him. But at the same time, he just trying to, like you say, either double back, keep fucking on her, or he just hating at the end of the day. I mean, at the end of the day, put it like this. If you had an ex that did all the things that, that was, you were supposed to do, you did everything right, y'all break up, you see him with somebody else or you see her with somebody else, anybody not going to say nothing because you was the catch. That's just what that is. As a woman, I don't think I would want my ex to send me a picture of my I'd rather fate. Just, I'm going to find out regardless. At the end of the day, you gonna find out regardless. No, nah, you ain't gonna never find but out. But I don't he said, want he said my out of town, yeah. <laughs> and you believe I don't want my ex sending it because now crazy. I feel like my ex got a one-up. Like, now you yeah. know I'm getting done bad. Now right. you know somebody doing me wrong. So now I can't even front in front of you like I got a good man. <laughs> you already know I'm being shitted on. So no, I don't want you to tell me. Look, ain't no I, future I didn't want you to anyway. know. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you this. This is another topic I've seen going viral. And i only seen one woman ever keep it real. This is why it went viral. She came out and she was speaking on girls' trips. So <laughs> what percentage of women would you say cheat on their spouse on a girl's trip? I don't know, because anytime I went on a girl's trip, I was never in a relationship, so I wouldn't know that. I know you wasn't, okay, you wasn't, but the women around, you like, you seen Cheat. how women act on girl's trips. Do you believe they're going out there getting drunk on these resorts with these strange men that's <laughs> I'm gonna pursuing be so them and being faithful? I'm going to be so with you. No, and let me tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I've been on enough trips to know this. When a woman is in love, excuse me, when a woman is in love, 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 she can't even enjoy the girl trip because she miss her man. And I done been plenty of times where I be around my girls, even this one over here. She be on, man, my man, my man. I be like, girl, <laughs> we on this vacation. I don't want to hear about your man. <laughs> what? At the end of the day, you going to see him when you get back. So that's what we be, I be experiencing. I noticed that a lot because when we go on trips, and I'm saying you go out the country, this person can't speak the same language you speak in no way. How am I going to pick this man up in the club? He don't understand nothing I'm saying. So it's just a, your options are just a little bit low. But Shit, when I you go outside, with, nah, with a woman, from, a, from a woman, you already got a man, so you not tripping. Yeah. You going home to your man. Now, I feel like men, that's more up y'all alley. Y'all can cheat when y'all go out the country with no problem because y'all don't care whether the bitch speak English or not. Hold on. She, she doesn't okay. speak. She has from, my experience, she don't from, from my experience, from my experience, if a woman's in love, love, one, she ain't going on a girl's, girl's trip. trip. So the fact that you went, that lets me know the window, the window of opportunity for cheating is open That's for the dumb. fact that you even went. What? Now, my personal experience traveling, these bitches getting their back blown out. <laughs> that's fast, At a man. high percentage. I'm talking about the ones that's on the phone. Yeah, baby, I miss you. I didn't been there Just getting like the ready to blow man. a bitch back out while she's... Yeah, babe, I miss you. Put but the that's down, the hoes that you messing out. with. She, let me tell you something. I don't know nothing about it. All I know is... You is not about to tell me that because she went on a girl's trip, that's the problem. She could be going to go for a wedding, a, a birthday, or something. And I know plenty of men that would like a little space from they, they woman. Oh, my girl out of town. I get to be by myself. I ain't got to have nobody talking to me, nagging me, asking me questions. I can okay. sleep all day, go about my day. Baby is out having fun with her friends. When you get back, it's all that over again. I have no—I wish my man— would be mad because I'm going 
on a girl's trip. It's, it's, nah, girl's but it's, it's, it's wild because she just said, you can't tell me about women, but you know dude, that's what men go out there and do. You said that's the pros of men. Because I be, I, like you said, you seen that? <laughs> I done been around men who got a whole shorty back home and he getting ready to do exactly what you was doing. Blow a bitch out that already had a man. <laughs> and I'm looking at this type of woman and I'm looking at this other type of woman. There are two different type of women. This woman who's on this girl trip, she ready for anything. This woman on this girl trip, I'm only here for the festivities. I'm trying to help and get back to my man. This is the thing. It don't mix. You you. That's you this, can't this. go and you say you cannot I judge based off one one. Yes, yes you I can. can. Yes I can. If my man says if I'm sitting with my man and I'm like, oh babe, you know Chelsea want to go um, to Miami for her birthday, have a little girls trip or whatever the case may be, and he be like, yeah babe, go have fun. What? I don't know no man that's telling this girl to go to Miami and have fun. It, I, Miami, Miami is an Miami, example. Miami, you for sure getting your back It's an example, but I'm just saying. I think it depends on where you're going a little bit. I don't know I mean, where you're going. At the end of the day, if with. my man has met my friends and he's okay with, he approved. Because I'm going to be real with you. Some men don't like his girl's friends. You might have a good girl and her friends might be hoes. You don't want her outside with that one. I know some men that don't like that. They judge based off the friends. But then you also have some that be like, man, she good. Okay, what is she going to be doing? She got a man. The rest of the group, they here for the festivities, like you said. So when all of y'all at the end of the night, and a lot of these women are sharing rooms. They're, they're in a room. She here for the festivities. She got a man. What is she doing when you done found your, your, your pick of the crop at the end of the night? On and the she's phone tired. With her man. She wanted, so you getting your back blown out here and she on the phone with her man. Hey, here. man, I'm not sharing no room with nobody <laughs> that's getting their back blown out while I'm in the room. That's first of all. Second of all, again, you should know your woman. You should trust your woman. If your woman goes on a girl's trip and you trust her to keep it, Solid, then that's just what that is. I don't think I want to be with nobody who wouldn't even trust me to go on a girl's trip. See, that's that, that's that, um, that's that tactic. That's that shame attack. Oh, nah, you it is me? what it is because no. when y'all go out of town and we be who y'all with, what y'all doing? What, I hear girls in the background. Y'all be like, bro, I can't even enjoy the festivities because you ask me where I'm at, who I'm with, who's in the room, all the kind of it's stuff. It's not every time as a nigga you going out to fuck something though. Not Let's be all honest, the time, but just I'm like still not letting my girl go on a girl trip. But yeah. I don't think every time That's I go out, I'm trying to take something down. If, I'm not. My, if her best friend is her birthday, and her best friend's like, sis, we need to go out the country for my birthday. This is what I want to do for my birthday. And it's a girl's trip. No guys, just girls. We celebrating my birthday. You telling me you're not going to let your girl go out and celebrate her best friend's birthday? Hell no, nah, because this is the thing. If this is it, her best friend, we're friends. So this your best friend? And you're a real couple. You're friends with the best friend in some form or exactly. fashion. Exactly. So that, that brings me to my trip, point of knowing the friends no, this that is the you're thing. with. That, that, point. that birthday trip, we're going because we're friends. Like my, my boy, his girl just had a party. Guess who, who they invited? His girl invited my girl and said, y'all come. She didn't say, hey, it's my birthday. You come celebrate. No, we're all friends in this. And I think you get so to that point. Yeah. We go as a couple. Yeah. And then if y'all want to go do y'all girl thing out cool. there for, for cool. That's I'm cool. Over here with the guys. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. But, but by it, yourself to a wedding is crazy. But no, that's at the end of the day, I think, again, I think, it's come trust. Come on, you're it's trying trust. to get your back blown out. I'm going to be honest, playing. like, too, I think, like, a lot of couples, like, it, it does come to a point where, like, what he just said is, like, most people who are in, like, a relationship, they kind of do... I want to say everything together, but Facts. a lot of times they rock yeah, with each other with other couples. Yeah, but you're not thinking of the friend who is single and don't have nobody and just want her girls. Women sometimes just want our girls. That's We talk about girl stuff. We cry. We break out. We go through. We tell yeah. each other what we're going through. Do that at sometimes, the spot. Go to the spot. Go to the spot. Go to the spot. Go to the spot. No, no, no. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you should trust your woman. Don't and if you it. know her best friend, you should be able don't to trust. Don't bring your man because he, he ain't going to be a part of That's this. Not, you ain't that's not the reason. That's not the reason. He could have shut that shit down. That is not the don't reason. Don't bring that nigga. Y'all <laughs> saying, saying don't let bring me, Let me ask you a question. Y'all men be going on trips for days, having guy trips all the time, and don't want to bring your shorty because you going on a guy's trip. So if you go on a guy's trip and your dude is like, nah, no girls, just the fellas, just on this trip, just the fellas, you going to invite your girl anyways and then have her sitting in the room all day? No, this the thing. Oh, so no, 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 no. you're not no, going to no. invite the girl. I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> but shorty can't just have fun with her Look, friends. I I'm going to keep it real. Once you're, see, it, it, this depends on the age bracket too. I'm speaking more so like the 30 plus crowd. Once you like in that 30 plus crowd, 
you're not going on any trips without your spouse unless it's like business. I think that's a fact. No, you're, I you're think just, it is. It's just not. It's just not happening. That's in your early twenties. We all having fun. If you're we're single, 30, you are. we're living together. We got kids. We paying bills. Well, okay. We doing it. Guess what about what? the people who single Vacation don't have time? kids? Guess what? And that's why I always say, if you're married. You don't even need no single friend. Ooh, what are you doing me, hanging out with this single chick? Because she's trying to get you to Miami. Let me help knowing you. Knowing she going out there to go suck some dick no. in the VIP mm, section. Let me help you. Keep let your me. married ass at home cooking, making breakfast, mm -mm. taking kids to football practice, shit like mm -mm. that. I let me help you out before I go. Let me, help, let me help you out. <laughs> <laughs> that one over there, married, kids. When she come around me, I know her man. I'm friends with her man. She around me, we got to work, right? If we have girl times, she she on her phone with her man all the time. Respect. As a woman, I'm going to respect that my homegirl is taken. I'm not going to put her in no situations. I'm not going to ask her to be the wingman. I'm not going to have her around no single man trying to talk to her. I'm not going to have her in a club. Like, I'm going to respect her and her relationship so that way there's an understanding, there's trust there because I'm not going to put her in a situation that might affect her relationship. That's one. But, again, that comes from knowing the people that you with. Her, her man knows me, so he trusts that she's with me by by ourselves without him. We done traveled plenty of times without him. He trusts me to know that his girl is good. Now, if she was going out with some girls who be in the streets and fucking sucking, and you know that that shorty is a hoe, I can see why you wouldn't want your girl to be with her. But you telling me it's okay for y'all men to go out on guys' trips and y'all leave the girl at home, that's okay. But when your girl want to go have a celebration with her friends and girls' trip, she can't go. I'm the type of friend... That makes sure, uh uh, not this one. I got it. She good. She, I think we're more no. so though tripping over the, like, cause what you just said exactly. There's like, no trust there. I don't like, care. Like she could be married, right? You're saying you're not gonna put her on this, you're not gonna put her on that. But how can you control that if you're single and you're in these environments that have all of these different because types of Because I'm as a like, single woman, I don't move like that. But that's a no, conflict no, I, of interest it's because, not. no, listen, if y'all two go say, hey, me and you, we're going on a girl's trip to Miami. You just sat here and said, I'm not putting her in no situation, blah, blah, blah. You literally bringing her with you to Miami is putting what? her in a situation. No, that's so you because so you're trying to mingle. That's and not she's what. No, no. I never said mingle. Again, you I ain't said. You going to Miami to sit in no room. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> Let me fix you up. Let me fix it. Again, like I said, when she's with me, we have business. So when I got to go to Miami or whatever, now I'm saying I got an interview, I got a studio session, I got this to do, I got this to do. We had to go to New York. We had video shoots, all kinds of shit that I had to do. Girls, girls trip. trip don't count we, as a business trip. No, let we me finish. Girls trip. Let me finish. I said with her, she's married. Okay? When we have girl time, she be on the phone with her man all the time. And, and I be like, oh, girl, you just saw him yesterday. I just want to have some girl time. Just me and you. Not your man, not another man, just girl time. So you wouldn't even know what girl time is. Girl time can consist of brunch. It can consist of going to a nice little evening, where, whatever. Well, we you don't know, know what it is. You got to go to Miami to and do that? <laughs> I, did, I use Miami as an example. Again, you gotta go anywhere outside the circumference of the city and the baby, state. Baby, if my man is allowed to go out and have guy time without me, then I am allowed to go out with my girls and have girl time without him. I don't want to hear nobody nagging me. I'm tired of arguing with you. You're getting on my nerves. I just need some girl time. Girl time is cool. Girls trips is not. Girl time, girl <laughs> trip. Bitch, if I say let's go to Arabia and that's where I want to go celebrate my birthday, it's my birthday. It's my choice. Right. And I'm inviting my but best the thing. friend. You're single. She's that not. Don't mean nothing. So, so when it's time to celebrate your birthday, my birthday, they can be should be getting an the... invite. What? They. No, and I want just girls. This why and this why married couples need to hang out with other couples. Okay, because I'm not taking that, that doesn't away. Doesn't happen. But when if that's my friend, friend a, but that's that's in a relationship as a birthday. Guess who's getting invited? Bro, you the couple, and yeah. the now husband. you, I invite. She's days. going out there to get ratchet no, for her birthday. I, she don't give a damn about you being married. Her pussy don't care about you being married. Excuse me, I didn't even involve my pussy. What you mean? My pussy don't always be involved on girl trips. It's involved at some point. I'm going to tell you like it is, okay? It's involved first of at all, some point. First of all, I'm going to be real with you. All the way 1,000 with you. If I'm going to go get dick, I'm the only motherfucker flying out. I ain't bringing my homegirls with me because I'm about to. That's dumb. I'm <laughs> about to spend time with the dick that's spending time with me. 
Now, if I'm going on a girl's trip, that's exactly what it is. It's a girl trip. You I don't want no men around. On a girl's trip? No, I haven't. Never, ever. On my mama, on my grandmother's <laughs> grave, on that's God crazy. himself. No, I haven't. You ain't want one of them foreign niggas? No, the fuck I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he can't, he, look, he ain't got Wi Fi and he can't speak English. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Bitches be attracted to that, to that, that's so that I'm going to be real with you. Some, some girls video. just really, just really want to have girl time, bro. When we not around no testosterone, we not around no men, some women be going through breakups and shit, and we just don't want to be around it. I'm we not going to say that's not true. Time. But women I'm that invite, women that invite women, married women or, or couples that been in strong, good relationships do not value their friends. That's not true. That's, that's it is. Y'all do not value her fact. relationship that's because it's going true. to automatically put a wedge between her and her man. Now she has to go home and talk to him about whatever the case is. And if he don't want, if he he don't want her to go, if he, if he don't approve, if he don't now want her to go, now she wants to go, it's, it's going to be a conflict of interest in their relationship. I now de- she's mad and he's argument. upset. That's I definitely argument. said, I definitely said, and the and then the man don't care. I said you talk to your man. Your man's good. He go. There's no problem in that. Especially if the man knows the friend and know what type of friend that you have. Now I'm saying he's not gonna. Yo, she good. She's with her. I'm, I'm not tripping. Whether they go here or there, it's who she with. I'm good with. So that's you as a man. Okay, look. Let, look at this scenario because this really happened in real life, right? You know what Mocha Fest is? No. Okay, they had a Mocha Fest in Houston, right? So say she's the only married one in the group. Everybody else single. Your man know you. He know all the homegirls. Now, these set of homegirls, the single ones, they got caught on tape sucking dick and it went viral all over the internet. So just imagine her man at home knowing she's with y'all and y'all are on tape sucking dick. He don't see her on the camera. What you think his next move is finna be? Nah. He see you sucking dick. Yeah. He see her sucking dick. He's like, where the fuck is my wife? I, all these, oh, that's I what you want to do? Bitch. I feel you. And all I'm going to say on that is. Now she got a fight on her hands. Okay. And she in the room sleep. Look, all I'm going to say to that note is. <laughs> look, every woman is different. Every friend group is different. We all different, but baby. But you put I, her we in all a different. situation. I, I said. Me, okay? I know me, she know me, her man know me, and we know we not about to be on that type of time because I'm not even that type of woman to go out and be fucking sucking in niggas I don't even know. First of all, especially not out the country, so I can come up missing? I don't think so. I am sticking where I know where I'm sticking, okay? At the end of the day, every woman is different. Every woman respects. I respect her marriage. I respect her. I respect her husband. I respect her kids. So even if we go have a girl's trip, the respect is already there. I'm not, that's just me as a friend. I'm not going to put her in no situation like that. The trust that I got from her husband means a lot to me that you trust me with your wife outside. I don't okay? trust no I didn't woman say you. out I'm the just country that. with at my the, wife. At the, <laughs> at the end I'm of the just day, sorry. I just don't. That's you, teachers on, but every woman is not the same. Every man is not the same. And every now and then, it, people just want to be with their girls. That's, That's just cool. what that is. I, mostly every I, woman, and mostly every woman I've talked to or. If they ask about a trip, they go on a trip, and that's all they say. I would have been on the balcony getting fucked over the view. I would have been doing this. I would have been doing that. What is the point I'm of going, going on a trip if you ain't fucking? That's how a lot of Baby, women look, think. I'm Tracks. flying out by myself, going to go receive the dick by myself. That's how I put it. I don't want no friends up, around though. me. No. If I, me, Anaya Love Note, is about planning to go get dick out the country or anywhere, I'm not bringing no friends. That's me, point blank, period. I'm not bringing my homegirls. I'm not bringing no none. Me, I know what the purpose is of me flying out. When I have girl time, I have girl time. That's me. That's just how okay, I am so, as a person. So you worried about coming up missing with the friends to get some dick, but then you're going to go solo to get dick, and you ain't worried about coming up missing? Again, if I go out the country <laughs> with my man, or if I'm being flown out to the man that's flying me out, clearly it's not a random person. This man that I know is flying me out, we're going to go take a trip so we can get down with the get down. I didn't say nothing about fucking no strangers. I don't do strangers. If this man is booking my flight, that's because I know him. He know me. We met in person. We didn't kicked it. We going outside to get some goddamn dick and some cookie. That's what that is. I'm not bringing no friends. If I'm going on a girl's trip, that's exactly what it is. A girl's trip. 
No dick being involved, no fucking, no sucking, no none of that. I wouldn't even want to be around females who do that outside of the country or anywhere of that nature. Love the the only difference I was going to bring up from dudes' trips and girls' trips is that us as men, we have to, like, actively pursue it. It just comes to y'all. So I think, like, mm. if five if five nerd-ass niggas go out, they're not going to get no pussy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they're not going to just take something down every time they go on a dudes' trip because most niggas is not even doing that within their own... They're not even getting played within their own city. Right. You get what I'm saying? Well, so. we teach us on to whoever's outside doing that crazy stuff. Teach us on. I'm going to say this. If you're married, you want to keep your marriage, stay the fuck <laughs> off them girls' trips. Oh, Quickest yeah. way to end your marriage... Take your ass on them girls' trips if you want. Let these women cap, y'all. I've been to a lot of countries and a lot of states. These women are doing a lot of fucking. <laughs> They're not going out there to get drunk, dress sexy, ass out, titties out, just for the gram. It look good on the gram, but like bro said, they got that balcony suite for a reason. They trying to get bit over that motherfucker. And I'm going to say before I head up out of here, trust your spouse. Trust is the biggest thing. I don't care what God has for you is what happy. If it ends that way, it ends that way. If shit go down, <laughs> it is. But at the end of the day, trust is I would rather trust my man and I'd rather my man trust me. That's just what it comes down to it. I don't want my man to feel like he can't go out and enjoy his friends or he can't go take guy trips or he got to be locked in the house just because he's married. No, I still want you to live your life. I still want to have joy. I still want us to be able to laugh, take trips. You come back. Baby, how was your trip? Yo, this went crazy. It This happened. I want to have that. That's me personally. I want to be able to have time with my girls and us just have girl time without my man. Sometimes I just, baby, look, I just need a, I just need a female right now. That's all it is. Trust is plays a big part of that. So at the end of the day, I feel for you. Hey, hey, with the one yeah, word she forgot, a lot. she forgot respect. Re I said that Definitely already. have trust. But respect your man enough to keep your ass off them girls' trips. Uh, exactly. No. <laughs> respect. Respect your man enough to know your boundaries, to know what you will and not do, have communication, and have trust. I don't see no reason why shit should go left. Now, if you just outside want to spread your cookie, she was cheating inside the country and out the country. It don't really matter. If she was going to do it, she's going to do it regardless. It don't matter because she's on a girl's trip or not. If sis is cheating on a girl's trip, she cheating back where she live at too. Period. I agree on that, but hey. You ain't got the nothing else to say about that. The you know? No, no, I do. I got a lot to say, but you got to go. But, you hey, know what? But we're going to we're gonna have, to, we're gonna have to make this a part two. Let, let's do it because I had a shitload of topics. We just got caught up with the music. Oh, no, shit, no, no. We're going to make a part two. We'll make a part two. Bring some friends. But that's exactly what I was going to get. Y'all ain't going to have me on this by myself. Matter of <laughs> fact, I'm going to bring the married one and let her say what she got to say let's on her side hey, look, as a married woman. Mike got to bless us with a nip slip on the next one. Oh, the no. Bang. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> That's a fact. I appreciate you for having me. Stop, thank you for coming. Oh! oh! Turn the camera back on. Turn the camera back on. Turn the camera back on.